And again, those heavy rains causing a lot of issues for drivers, homeowners, and businesses in Big Rapids today. News 8's Joe LaFerge, live there now with a look at how things are going. Joe? Yeah, Brian, a uh, message here today in, in Big Rapids is simple, and you hear it every time, but don't play in this water. We're at Mitchell uh, Creek Park in Big Rapids. I'm going to step out of the way and show you what's going on. We had a pretty close call earlier today. Uh, Kyle Wilson, the man behind the camera, our photojournalist, was uh, shooting video here of the park that's adjacent to the creek when a young man who had been in the water but got out hopped back in. Uh, that young man got caught on a bench uh, near where this, uh, this, uh, the floodwaters go into the creek. You don't see that bench anymore. That bench is gone. It's washed away down the, down the creek. Uh, the kid was stuck. He didn't have any place to go except down the creek. So Kyle, uh, some fast thinking on his part, grabbed one of the poles we use for our portable lighting for live shots, was able to extend that pole out so the young man was able to grab it, and Kyle pulled him and pulled him into safety. Uh, real close call here. Again, these floodwaters are very powerful. You see them right now. You see all the debris getting washed down. You see how fast they're running. They're very unpredictable. This is why every time we get a flood like this, you hear authorities saying, don't go in the water. Of course, this wasn't the only problem spot in Big Rapids, just outside the city. Uh, some streets covered with uh, floodwaters. This is uh, 220th Avenue between Madison and Woodward, just west of the city. And vehicles were getting through, but again, that could be a dangerous situation as well because you don't know how fast that current is going or how deep that water is, and uh, it could actually wash away a vehicle, even though those vehicles are obviously very heavy. Not in this case, but that could happen. One resident we talked to was just trying to limit the wake that was going into his front yard from those vehicles. I stand out here hoping that they'll slow down, you know, because they do come through here pretty fast. And another word to the wise, all this flood water uh, is, is going across parking lots and in through basements, and it's picking up a lot of contaminants along the way, a lot of stuff you don't want to come into contact with. So that's another reason to just stay out of the water. Live in Big Rapids, Joe Lafergie, News 8.